now for the next topic the packages and access modifiers um so nothing much different uh, from java is the same uh, i'll just explain the concept no need of much comparison also. so packages so if if you are not from java background and i will explain you the concept as well so the purpose of packages in the oops concepts is that you can it's like a grouping okay you you put all your luggages into in, into one rack so you separate your uh, stuff by racks or groups or folders okay so this packages is nothing but you write your programs into a particular folder that you want to maintain and so that all common nature a similar kind of nature you'll put into one folder and another kind of similar uh, programs into another folders that because of that we use uh, for achieving that we use packages uh, the packages behavior is exactly same as your java syntax wise you have some some changes if you want to go with or otherwise you, you can still uh, use your java kind of thing one now so by default in any of your scala program there are two packages that gets imported implicitly without your notice or with you don't even need to specify them so in any java program even the java uh, sorry in any scala program so whatever i write even though i didn't specify any import statement this will import by default so java dot lang and scala dot uh, underscore here underscore in scala represents star star means any so how many ever classes that are present in this java dot lang packages all those classes will be imported and inside this scala dot how many ever the classes that are present all those classes will be imported so same like here import scala dot star in java okay and again when you are writing anything in into it uh, like here let's let's see that as well so import scala dot so control scala dot console or any class if you want to import you can import or if you want to import all the classes inside a package you specify that so here and import means you are actually not getting the class in this you are just giving a reference right yes yeah. okay it's like At a dot profile of, kind of a thing what is it is it like a dot profile kind of a thing dot profile um in linux yeah uh it's a kind of adding a class path variable okay okay it's like a linking uh, it, it oh, yeah, comes yeah, into okay. your reference is there okay yep reference linking yeah. so uh, you are using a new feature let's say you you want to use some some string operation that is not available by default and someone has developed that and you don't want to recode that in your program you just want to use it so just specify the package name whichever folder that is present in and you pull that that's it okay it's like a udf so, right like a udf exactly like a udf in hive or pig okay and whatever the program that you are writing you can also put it into a package uh, by default i kept this in default package and if you want to write it into a package just go and create a package okay just create a package generally we go with the company 
uh, the the reverse domain name com uh, com dot test dot your uh, project name so inside this package if you move this so now here you have to specify that this is in package com dot test dot project so syntactically so this is one way which is very uh, similar to your which is same as your java syntax i'm struggling with the new laptop uh, this is one way, same as your Java. And in Scala, you have one more, two more ways that you can specify this way also. So now, any number of classes that you write inside this curly braces, that uh, all those come under this package. And one good thing is that you can even write your classes after this also and into a different package as well. So that means you can write more than one class within the same .scala file into different packages as well. Okay, that's, that's just an option available. It's not that um, nothing benefit you'll get out of it just rather than putting all the classes in one file and um, just an option, that's it, okay. Uh, I, I generally don't recommend that. You just still follow the same uh, uh, methodology that you were coming from Java. Now, there is one more option syntactically available, which is, I since these are, if you see them in the backend, in the source, they are like a different folders, right? They are like a different subfolders. If you go right click and see this, so this is present in workspace, Scala test. So if I go there, um, users, workspace, Scala test, inside source. If I created that com.test.project, it created a com folder inside the test folder, inside the project folder. Inside that, it placed your program. So now, it is nothing but your folders. Your package is nothing but creation of folders. Now, um, so what you can do is, you can also do this way. Package com, inside that package test, and inside that package project. You can do this very well. Okay, and if you have any other classes that needs to be just placed in com.test package but not inside a project but inside com.test you can just immediately you, you can either write here or after this the closing brace of your project so, after so here. basically in this what have you uh, you can go up uh, shiva a little bit okay so in yep. this test is containing project basically yep test is containing the project folder project. Okay. And it can also contain another classes like class um, test. Okay. Class test. That's it. Okay, so is there any reserved word for the name of the package? Uh, any name of this 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 the the name of the package? Yeah, any reserved word in uh, Scala or something? Uh, I don't think so. Like uh, D-A-T-E is a reserved word, right? So like that, something like that. 
or dat date yeah like some i don't know if like for example com you have said so is com a reserved huh. word or is it it can be actually used it can be anything it can be like org okay okay as long as if it is not highlighting i think we should be okay right yep yep correct so even though um i need to create that package if i have to change that to arc just create the package with arc dot uh, uh, your whatever name that you want to go with okay, okay. So let me put it as this com okay. yeah so com is not a reserved word or anything is not a reserved word here you can use anything like uh, snehali dot patel dot uh, project okay and it creates snehali as a super folder and inside that patel as a sub folder inside that uh, it creates a project folder so there is no limit of how many can be incorporated in a package right um there is no such limit okay there is no such limit um even there is no such limit on the nested levels of folders as well okay okay uh but i think uh theoretically i mean as far as i know there is no such limit sometime back some guys faced an issue to put a class in a project uh, i mean more than some hundreds of classes inside a one single package i i, I remember that there was a practical issue uh, that we faced some time back um yeah, let me check with raj as well. raj i mean is there any some that some specific number that is available that uh, that limits the number of classes inside a package uh i'm not sure like uh, I, as far as i know that is a no, no yeah. theoretically I mean, limit or the anything of the yeah theoretically speaking there is no limit but um, i i think i i remember that uh, there was we faced that you are not able to add any more classes to one of the package existing i was not sure i i didn't remember that perfectly whether it was just a limit reaching the package or some other reason for the addition okay but theoretically there is no such limit that inside one project how many classes you can put okay uh -huh. she have one more question like uh, i have created a package called package 1 right mm -hmm. you have created a same name package 1 mm -hmm. somebody else let's say raj is trying to uh, use this functionality of yours and my while i'm yep. importing it will give a problem right because a duplicate package but two different functions inside the package two different functions if you create the same package not a problem see you you created a package one right yeah. Yeah. you created a package one inside means that let's call this as a package one okay. and inside this your function is fun1 mm -hmm. and raj created raj so created fun2 somebody else is trying to import the package yep so at that time they have to give import dot package one import dot package one two times right uh import package one dot function one import okay. package one dot function two so they have to specifically uh, give the function name they they cannot simply leave just import package uh, name um if both the function names are same or if both the function names are different uh, let's say both the function names are same both the function names are same and package name is also same that is that you will override okay so can you so you are me? referring see you you are referring that it's simple right so you are you are creating one folder mm -hmm. and creating the same file by two users yeah okay but if you are writing a separate class within the same folder 
not an issue. Just you, you don't even need to think of this Java concepts here at all. Just, just treat them package as like a folder, and your class as like a file inside there. Okay. Okay. So someone who is creating in inheritance test two dot scala, perfectly fine in the same package, and someone else is also creating within the same package. Mm -hmm. With the same class name, it's not a new class. It's just is trying to update the same. Or first of all, it will uh, not allow to create that class. Okay, well, it says that it already exists. Okay, within the project. Yep. Okay. If you want to try it out, you you can just. Give this way, like new Scala class, same this inheritance test. See, file already exists. Okay. Okay, okay. That's it. Okay. So, yeah, that way. Um, you can use your package and import statements. And unlike your Java, Scala also has given you flexibility that in the same line, you can import multiple classes from the same package just by specifying the comma separator. Whereas uh, if this was from this package, from java.io package, if you had to import three classes, only these three classes, you had to write three import statements in Java. Import java.io.file, import java.io.io exception, import java.io.file not found an exception. But in Scala, you can combine all these, these three classes into one curly brace and comma separated. And with just one import statement, it imports all of them. This is one flexibility. And one more flexibility is that you can import wherever you want. Unlike Java, Java, you have to place your import statements only at the top of your program. Only just before your class. This is the only section where we specify our import commands. But in your Scala, I can even import just before I start using that. I can, I can write my import statements there. Okay. It's applicable know. for only that object. If well, I, what is it? If I import it over, you import, it's like a, it's like uh, the scope lies within that yeah. that body. Okay. Yeah, okay. That. That. okay. And that's the reason we always put everything at the top only, so that they will be available. Uh, inside wherever you want to use. Okay, and um, so you can put it in within a method or within a block of code and import classes and packages or objects. Okay, and coming to the uh, access one, specifier. One quick summarize, uh, uh, Shiva. So we yep. have package, inside a package we have classes, Inside a uh, not inside a class, uh, it's a uh, inside a package we have class and class to object. Within that object, we have various methods, right? So this is the hierarchy yep. follow. Correct, exactly. Okay. Package is a folder, class is a file. Mm -hmm. Within that, you have a, uh, you have your functions, and you have within that function, you will have your fields declared. Okay. Just the hierarchy. 